Hi, I'm Brian Dolan with another edition of the Week in Review. The East Grand School District Board needs to cut another $1.1 million from the already stripped budget. At a recent meeting, time is what community members asked the board to provide so a sustainable funding solution can be finalized. The board is proposing a ballot initiative for the November election in the form of a mill levy override or a sales tax increase to offset the budget's shortfall. School administrators are charged with a directive to analyze the accountability budget subcommittee's proposals. The leading recommendation is to close the Fraser Valley and Grand Lake Elementary schools and fold those students into the Granby school system. The newly released administrative budget recommendation allows for the district to dip into the reserves by 28 percent or a half a million dollars, which can be used to offset the district budget shortfall. Kremling Memorial Hospital district officials have elected to change the hospital's name to Middle Park Medical Center Kremling Campus to create a more uniform identity for Grand County-based medical facilities. The new medical center in Granby will be called the Middle Park Medical Center Granby. The Timberline Clinic is poised to relocate to the 26,000 square foot Granby facility when finished. It too will adopt the Middle Park name according to Kremling Memorial spokesman Eric Murray. The facilities are sharing the adopted slogan, Keeping Life Grand, and district administrators are working on choosing a logo to further brand health care services in the community. Murray said the goal is to improve access to quality care in our county. The new hospital is slated to open in the first quarter of 2012. A lawsuit over thwarted plans to revive the ski train between Denver and Winter Park Resort is scheduled to go to trial in June, according to an Associated Press report. Iowa Pacific Holdings LLC was negotiating with Amtrak for crews to bring back ski train service in 2009 after the former ski train's cars were sold. Iowa Pacific blames last-minute demands by Amtrak for more insurance coverage for derailing those efforts. Early snow and better-than-expected economic forecasts brought favorable results to the ski industry nationwide. Colorado Ski Country USA reported skier visits for its 22 members were up 10 percent through December compared to the same period last season. Lodging occupancy at 15 major resorts in the western United States was up almost 9 percent compared to the previous year, according to Mountain Travel Research Program. It was the fourth consecutive month with a year-over-year -year increase. Snow Sports Industries of America, Denver Expo, is the largest trade show of the year for the snow sport industry. Denver has a 10-year contract with the organization, and the On Snow Demo Festival is expecting over 200 exhibitors for this year's event. Winter Park and Devil's Thumb Resort are hosting the On Snow portion of the event as participants from around the globe will be showcasing their new equipment. For more information on what's happening in Grand County, stay tuned to TV18. I'm Brian Dolan, and I'll see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank.